The Visiting Student Application Service, or VSAS, is an AAMC program intended to provide a common pathway for students to browse and apply to preclinical, clinical, and research opportunities at host institutions. It's important to remember that while many institutions participate in VSAS, not all of them do, and this service is unfortunately not an exhaustive list of all of your options. Additionally, despite recent updates to the VSAS interface, the website can be difficult to navigate and find the program you're looking for. Hopefully by the end of this presentation, you will feel confident finding an away rotation if you choose to complete one. The VSAS website contains a full page of general instructions for using the application service. Before applying, you will have to log in with your AAMC information and complete a biographical profile of your personal and academic information. At this point, you can begin searching for your elective using the VSAS database. The problem many of us have found in using this database is that very few interventional radiology electives come up when you search for them by specialty. We will briefly walk through an example of how this might look. The main search page now populates results in the center with a panel on the left that has search filters. While this is a much nicer appearance than before VSAS completed recent updates, we will show you an example of how opportunities can still be missed if you're not careful. For example, let's say that I want to complete an away IR rotation at Yale and walk through an example of how I might search for that. If I search by institution filter and find Yale School of Medicine by the drop-down menu, I come up with 264 records that seem like a lot to look through. So I'll move to the next filter option and add interventional radiology from the drop-down menu to our search. Now I find no records of this elective at all. If I were unsure it existed, I might stop here and miss this opportunity. Instead, this is where it's important to remove my filters and search by keyword. Now seven electives come up, all various radiology electives at Yale, but several of them, including the second listing shown here, are specifically for IR electives. The root of the problem we just saw comes from the specialty filter. If you search for interventional radiology in the drop-down specialty filter option, you only come up with nine options, and none of them are for our example of Yale. This is because most interventional radiology electives are housed under the Department of Diagnostic Radiology and have been listed as diagnostic radiology electives for many years on VSAS. Unless individual institutions update these listings, the search will remain as is. A keyword search, interventional radiology, finds 106 programs, but this still does not include all. As another example, only when I type in Angio does the program at UVA come up. So many schools may describe their programs differently and it can be challenging to search for them, but you must be vigilant in looking for the programs you're interested in applying to. For institutions that don't use VSAS, many of them will have their own forms online. Be sure to read the instructions carefully for each of these institutions as some will require mail-in paperwork. For example, Penn requires a printout of your application, immunization records, and academic standing to be mailed to them in order for your application to be complete. Examples of institutions that are not on VSAS include Penn, MGH, Hopkins, and NYU, just to name a few. Also watch out for smaller hospitals with affiliations with academic institutions that may not use VSAS. In summary, to maximize your search success, we recommend using the keyword search feature. It's also helpful to have a sense of what programs you might be looking for by using outside internet searches and talking with mentors or friends. Also remember that not all away rotations use VSAS for their application. These programs should instead contain application contacts and information on their websites. Please feel free to ask any questions about this content in our question and answer session.